video being fat right jim took any chance he could to shift his face into various shapes and direction stealing a scene but i wouldn't call it stealing if more and more is wanted oh hey there i'm sure you're wondering how this all plays into well anything if you didn't see the movie i'm sure you're rather confused right now well let me take you back to the start 70 million dollar box office record opening weekend for a video game movie and now just snuggly behind tomb raider warcraft and detective pikachu in overall profit but yet the first non-bomb of 2020 animal wildlife movies seem to be becoming a box office curse prior with cats doolittle and birds of prey <gasps> Also, the first to set off the re-editing trend going around, with the design of the character from the very first trailer drop being torn apart and ridiculed online. So bad. So bad that they pushed this furry fuck's release date so a character redesign could be edited in in its place. Personally, I think the first design was a ruse or a lab rat hoax just to test how fans would react. They knew no one would dig those rows of human teeth and kneecaps. What? What was that? A tangent? Yeah, that's right. Jokes, narratives, and thoughts I have to myself will now be out loud for you, the audience. So buckle up. Another first was the first time seeing and hearing the new <laughs> movie logo. And that was the onset of a huge smile that remained on my face for the next one hour and 40 minutes. Green Hill Zone is where we begin the movie, and then Green Hills, British Columbia, is where Sonic shows up on our rock after teleporting through a ring, escaping trouble. And coincidentally, this is where we also meet James Marsden's character Tom, or the Donut Lord. Have you seen the Tim Hortons' new Dolce Le Creme Donuts? Wow. Holy man. James has definitely upped his game of talking to a little ball of where a little CGI animal will be since Hop. But I'll never be able to glance upon that perfect face and not shed a tear for Cyclops. <sighs> Taken from us too early. Oh wait, yeah, X-Men Days of Future Past happened and he's back. Hooray! <laughs> that's not the only thing that's back from that movie though. But let's put a quill in that for now. The humor and tone here is refreshingly new, random, and surprisingly really funny. That, of course, being due to our resident 60-year-old creep being on just a whole other or maybe just his own level. Jim Carrey as the evil Dr. Robotnik is evil, yes, but apparently not evil enough to enslave tiny little animals into his designs. Yet. Hey, I do watch How the Grinch Stole Christmas every Christmas Eve while downing jugs of nog and honey rusted peanuts, because I know I do. But his tech mainly being drones, scanners, and lasers are really not too far off from what we have floating around today in reality. Robotnik is not how you remember him, constantly poking that PG-13 rating. But this insane, hilarious, and insanely hilarious Eggman is a character reboot created for this movie and for a character to play around with. Jim took any chance he could to shift his face into various shapes and direction, stealing a scene. But I wouldn't call it stealing if more and more is wanted. You see what I did there? Just like in the movie. All right, all cut up, let's go. As soon as he walked onto screen, laughter erupted and all he did was walk into the frame. Carry couldn't carry one sentence without flashing an impression of his true inner being. This character is proof that cancel culture exists in the government. And this next character is proof that it's in the media as well. That being our main expositional talking to himself, Schizo Hedgehog, voiced by Ben Schwartz. Hey, my name is Ben Schwartz and together we can make a difference. Jake and Amish. Ever since his first days on Jake and Amir, I have been a Schwartz fan. He's hilarious. Oh, hail to the milkman, the milkman, the milkman. Okay, hail to the milkman. The milkman is me. But his voice just didn't fit the role, no. And as hard as it is to say, I, if I could imagine anything in this movie being an improvement, it would be Sonic's voice. Yeah, sure, Sonic's personality isn't as badass as his video game counterpart. Now he is more of a lovable jock with a more tragic origin story. And now he can apparently cause nationwide blackouts with his emotions. Hey, remember that blackout in 2003? 
I do. I gotta stay home and play Yu-Gi-Oh cards with my friends all day. Good times. Good times. And though there are no sidekicks kicking around just yet, he did have some help from his magic bag of teleporting rings and other Easter eggs to lend an egg. Rings that sling you to another location just like Doctor Strange. Whoa. And he can run up and down walls, then forget to at the plot's convenience. <laughs> Whoa. That's... That's crazy, man. Some other Easter eggs egging about I found were the Knuckles clan chasing poor baby Sonic for his powers in the beginning. Sonic, the hedgehog, is the crude blue devil drawing. He taps his feet and checks his watch when he gets bored. He also loses all his rings when he gets hit. There's a few other chili dogs, badniks, quick silver scene wannabes. But missed a perfect opportunity to have Sonic bust out a makeshift snowboard and tear up the hills of San Fran while running away from the Eggman. It was right there, man! Close attention was paid to the character's movements, antics, and catchphrases. <laughs> this is the most I have genuinely enjoyed and laughed in a movie in 2020. Huh. Even 2019. And that's laughing with, not at. Meow. Sonic's one-liners and quotes are hilarious, but will quickly become dated. Something I pray doesn't happen with the rest of the flick, but I predict it will. And only one of my end credit predictions came true. No, Detective Pikachu does not stroll in out of the shadows trying to recruit for a Smash Bros initiative, sadly. It's not a movie one would nominate for any awards, but if you need a background Netflix and Chili Dog noise, are on an airplane, or have popped out any younglings, it is a movie for you. You. Yeah. What would you want to see in the next movie? Supersonic? Knuckles? Shadows? Or should the much alluded to Mushroom Planet slash Hill be the setting for the sequel as it was the first level of the second Sonic game? Do you know who's a fun guy? Keanu. This is the age of Keanu Reeves, and personally, I don't understand the hype. It's not like he's Vin Diesel or something. Oh, still going? <clears throat> Alright, uh, who would you cast as Mario? Yahoo! Let me know in the comments below. Right now, I'm gonna go.